Guys, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but so otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry, ma'am, I am from the internet. Today we're going to be taking a look at Popular Mechanics, September 1965. Look at this gentleman down here. He's got a keyboard. He's got a nice setup. Man, when I was little, I could just spin around on those things all day. Do we need no action figures? That keyboard looks electric and very heavy, and if you weren't used to the non-electric keyboard i can't explain to millennial kids come on autofocus i can't even explain to millennials how difficult it was to push in the keys to the to the manual ones you had to really push that in for the letter to, to run up and hit wait a sec what has he got on his desk is that an audio reel to reel with some kind of remote Instant office in a closet. I know some HR people who would like to. I'm not. I'm just going to shut up. It's okay. I can say these things. I swing both ways. And you should too if you want freedom of expression. The Volkswagen station wagon with 21 views. Those things were apparently really hard to turn. No power steering, folks, but this comes from a totally different time. Like I say, some of the reasons why I like to go through these things is just to see. The time. Nobody makes advertisements about staple guns anymore. The millennials even know how to use staple guns. Like, if you took your average millennial and put a staple gun down in front of it, do, do you think they'd be able to load that thing? They would probably be more likely to reload an Uzi than they would be. I'm not. I'm just gonna keep going. Forget I said anything. Hey, you know what? On a positive note. There was a time when vans were all the rage. Everyone liked getting into a van and taking off down the road. Vehicles were a thing of freedom. Not so much these days. If you want a vehicle, they're unbelievably expensive. Like, okay, get me. Back in the day, you used to be able to get a jalopy. I, I was told you could get a jalopy, a bad car from a wreckers, and you and all your friends could get in, maybe go about 35 miles an hour maximum down the road. Some of them might be bobbing up and down, but at least you could still get it. Geez, these days, kids can't get vehicles unless their parents pay for it. But there was a time, a time of freedom, a time of independence, of personal intelligence, and... Perhaps we had more integrity back then, too. When you could just get in a car, take your friends down to the lake, and away you go. And it evolved in the 70s about a van. Everybody wanted a van. And then everybody wanted a vote, a boat, boat culture. All of this thing is gone. And I think half of it is that that the land has been claimed. All the lakes have been claimed. There is no place where you can just go and have fun without having money. Oh, <gasps> is that a... Oh my god! It, oh gee, yeah, all men are like, whoa, is that a bomber? Cable of the speed's better than 2,000 miles per hour. Why, it was the hottest aircraft run. Yeah, I'll say, jeez, I didn't know they'd had that thing in 65. Man, when I was little, I didn't think that thing was real. There was a G.I. Joe, uh, Cobra Stinger, Viper, something like that, and it looked just like uh, that stealth bomber. I think we just always called that the stealth bomber. And then my parents took me to a uh a pilot's historical place it was where right near where the wright brothers took off and i think i'm pretty sure they had one of those things right there and i almost crapped my pants like oh my every guy you, you know a true man if they see a stealth bomber like a stealth bomber <laughs> yeah anyways i heard of a stealth bomber that uh, they're having problems with them there have been stealth bombers that have been shot down uh but what was i gonna say stealth bombers um there was one stealth bomber that it, it, it failed the tests back and forth. The radar was just picking it up. Oh, that's so cool. It's so cool fishing with. I tried that once. I lost my magnet, but it was a lot of fun. Me and the kids had a lovely time. Anyways, the stealth bomber kept. Wow. America Grand P? Kendrall Oil? Do we still race with cars like this? It's been a while. I think though, that kind of racing was more popular back in the day. Damn, I wish I knew the name of it. Kendall. So, they went all over it several times. And then they found out that there was one bolt on this bomber. Just one freaking bolt. That was standing up a little bit. And they screwed it down and it was fine after that. You couldn't detect it. I'm, guys, I just can't get over this teardown stuff. With, uh, with all of these popular mechanics magazines. I felt like... It wasn't until I got to YouTube that I could see how things were taken apart. And there were particular 
uh, books, hardcover books that you could find that would show you how to take things apart. But we kind of lost that. Anything's a hammer. Anything blunt can be a hammer, right? Such toughness. Such toughness. A humane trap, man. I always thought it'd be more fun just to launch the suckers. <laughs> I mean, as long as you're not launching them at a wall, I think it's fine because they can reach terminal velocity and not get hurt. Just launch them into a tree, they'll be just fine. Put some food up there for them too. If you're going to be tormenting them, you at least got to give them some bait. I might be alone here, but I kind of miss wood paneling. I miss... It always felt like if I was in a basement with wood panels, it was it, it was like a man cave of some sort or other. And while I was there, we were always with the other men that were always... Yes, I drink all the time. and Like, men who were angry all the time, and angry because they were always in pain, because they legitimately always had to fight the world around them with farming and agriculture and the other hard-headed people that worked within it and and just just the wood trim i just anytime i'm in a basement a cellar with a wood trim especially if it smells like a cigar or pipe it's just, just get a really good vibe how many staplers can you advertise in a single some of us legitimately know men like this and god bless them because they build some really interesting things Guys, check out this vibrator for your wife. Whether you're on a quest for therapy or pleasure. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, men and women for centuries have sought the service as a professional measure of uh, masseuse now. Oh, basically, she's got... Is that a vacuum? It's a vacuum cleaner that will massage. Okay. Okay, vibrating air belt. Oh my god, I'm going to get demonetized. It's strange seeing pipes advertised. This is the first time I've seen spray paint, but apparently spray paint's been around since about the 20s. I kind of expected to see less staple guns and more regular guns, and th actually that's an advertisement for a scope. Motors repair manual was a big deal to the old gearheads back in the day. It actually legitimately had good images to show you how to do any little thing that you needed to do on old-fashioned cars. Different issues gave you different ages. Here you can see a multi-tool from General Electric. We've had different kinds of models of those over the ages. And Honda giving news about new engines. I wonder when the last time is we had an interesting new engine. That is an intriguing wrench. A little bit different. I wonder if it would get caught a little bit more. Because there would be more surface area to get crud caught into. <laughs> but it looks wonderful. Man, ladies know if you dress like that, you don't need guitar skills even you back in the day. It used to be really difficult to take a good picture. Sorry about that. It was flat out a pain in the butt to take a picture back in the day because you had to have everything had to be right on bang on and you wouldn't even know how good or bad it was until you got it back which is infuriating investigate accidents get paid money this is an accident paid money to this is an accident here's your money allied money savings electronics catalog that thing looks very 80s i love it hey what's the ecto-1 doing there this one also seems to be going for the real futuristic scene. Now, as I'm going through these old magazines, I'm noticing a lot more of these handheld drills that uh, you can get tools to make them drill presses, basically. It kind of speaks to a time where everyone was doing the best they could with what they had, I imagine. So, RCA Electronics. When did they fall off the map and become junk, I wonder? They had their own institute where they could train people. These days, RCA is just a Chinese name, basically, slapped onto anything. So this is an intriguing advertisement for tires? Six-ply. Six-ply? Ten-ply. I've never heard of tires being explained in these terms. Who do we got here? B.F. Goodrich. Man. Look at that! A list of every retailer, too! I should look that up. This is interesting. So on one side, we got GM saying, Hey, replace your GM parts with GM parts. And over here, 
on the other side, we have an editorial, the satellite uh, phone call to PM. So basically, the president of Popular Mechanics was called up by Comstat to say, hey, this call is coming out of a satellite. How's it going, buddy? So that was June 28th, 1965, was the first commercial telephone call from a satellite to a telephone. And I didn't get a cell phone until like 2004. What the heck? Oh, looks like we still had men way back in the day. Hunting with the bow. Hunt downwind. X marks the spot. That's where there's treasure. After you dig up the treasure, take that buck down. And once you take that buck down, use its horns to make a really nice knife. Aw, what did the elephant do to you? I'm not saying your new hat doesn't look good, Earl. I'm just saying it's not your color. But for infrared nighttime technology? How was that a transmitter and receiver? Are you sure it's just not a infrared? That looks like a pretty bright light. I bet you could fry somebody's face right off with that thing. Okay, they're talking about some kind of a spook light here. That's what it looks like. They don't know what it is. Three pages later, you just find out that there's, like, Interstate 66 somewhere over that way. Miniature world of microcircuits. Here's a woman. She got a tiny CB radio earpiece buried in one end. Must be held up to your ear to be heard. Huh. This is basically the introduction to the cochlear, I wonder. Cochlear implant. Pocket-sized purse portable TV. Really? Gives you RCA miniature... Geez, there's no way it could be that thin. That's got to be a picture tube television. I gotta find that one. I love it. Even back in the day, they gave you the naked micro circuit. Even if there was nothing that could be repaired in there, they would still give you the schematic. Thank God. Check it out. That's what's on the inside of a hearing aid. I bet I couldn't even take one of these apart. That looks a lot like the one my daughter uses. In the closet projection room. Oh man, I am so glad that we don't have to worry about all of these things. Millennials will never know the hell of storing, rewinding, and just setting these damn things up in order to play something. It was legitimately a chore. You really had to know what you were doing. When I tried to go back and get one of those working about 10 years ago, I had to have a photographer with me who who had, knew how to thread the original uh, uh, picture machines in the 24-hour photo, and he was the one that showed me. There was a little knob I had to hit to make sure that nothing would jump. I want one of those so bad. Jeez, check out this leaf blower. That sure beats raking. When your yard or patio will stay clean, your whistle will just fall and make 80 miles per hour wind. So, like, you put your kid right there. They show you how to do it. She's back and forth. Interesting. Interesting. Holy crap, it's not just an advertisement. The Popular Mechanics is teaching you how to make one of your own. No steel toe boots, helmet, earring protection, eye protection, OSHA violation. Jeez, back in the day, you guys were really tempted fate, weren't you? You should all be dead by now. Not wearing your earring protection. Oh, man. Check that out. To all the feminists out there, see, there was no patriarchy. Popular mechanics let people, let, let, let women uh, uh, drive one, sometimes in the pictures. In the pictures. Here's another picture of popular mechanics letting women drive, in, in the advertisements at least. The new 66 Datsun. So I've heard about Datsuns. I know nothing about them. I want to say it's a Ford Datsun, but that must Datsun must just be the name of it, right? Man, back in the day when you didn't have to be part of a giant conglomerate in order to have a car out. Oh boy, I'm a football player and I owe everything I know to this skill. It taught me skill, drill, dub, 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 cut. Guys, I'm just a football player. I know nothing about these things. Just give me my money. Wait, white people play football? I'm just kidding. I know about as much about football as I know about Datsuns. An intriguing Harley Davidson motorcycle advertisement. Look at all these rough, tough bikers. Oh, they're ready to run some drugs and 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 and, and smack some hoes around. Yeah. Not one helmet amongst them. The rebels. So this is remarkable. Sit down, uh, millennials. This is not an ice cube. This is a flash photography. 
cube. Your for, for flash photography, you would need to get a new cube every few flashes. I think you got like four flashes off these things, and you had to replace the cube because uh, the light was burnt out. Nice, check it out. The first battery charger I've ever seen in one of these things. Up to 12 volt? Okay, that's intriguing. So I guess Dremel was the name of a tool and also the name of a tool manufacturer. Today I learned. And television. Color television, only $375. I just don't think it tells you channels for 21. Build it yourself in 25 hours? Am I reading that right? Build your own TV? Okay, I'm gonna send away for that. Oh boy, better go out there and get your Copenhagen. Do they still sell chaw? Own your own two-way radio for your ice cream truck. Very nice. Jeez, Americans were all about tormenting the geishas even back in the day. Speedy Sprayer, I knew... Ugh, autofocus, I knew I saw that name somewhere. Speedy Sprayer, I'm pretty sure Speedy used to make other tools too. I could be wrong, but they seem to be a manufacturer that disappeared. Bob Jones boosted his salary 300%. Could you do the same? I mean, if frickin' Bob could do it. Who are you, Bob? You don't know me, Bob. Winston, I wonder when they went out of business. There was also an insert about tape. Oh boy, you should go out and buy some tape. Such mundane advertisements for mundane things that were very practical, so that would go a long way. Pretty cool. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. Nev from Nev's Tech, but it's like and subscribe if you like this stuff. I'm doing a whole series on popular mechanics. Check it out. Time for me to get going. Have a good one, folks.